Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and today I have a set 5 booster pack. That's right, so what I did was I've been making a lot of new cards for set 5, and I decided to make a pretty cool booster pack. So this set 5 booster pack contains 5 cards. It has 3 commons and 2 cards that are either going to be a rare or ultra rare. I usually have 1 rare and 1 rare ultra rare, but this time there will be 2, so that will be a fun change. Oh yeah, and I drew a little volcano right here. So that is pretty neat. So I'm going to open up the pack like this. And I went back with my old style of packs where I seal the two ends together because I thought that would be fun. So yeah, let me just open it up like so. And put this aside. And here we go. So first off, we have Ice Pillar Archer. So what I did for her was I made this really cool ice pillar effect where the ice looks like it's sprouting out of the ground. And I thought it turned out pretty nice. So she's a stage 1 common card with 200 power and 200 defense, and she's also the first water type for set 5. And another thing that I liked about this card was it was one of the first cards in a while where I've not put a, <coughs> a text box, excuse me. <coughs> so basically, I decided to not put a text box so I could completely fit the cool ice pillars that are sprouting from the ground, and I think it turned out pretty good. Next up, we have Professional Superhero, a stage 2 common card that I made. He is a he has 300 power and 100 defense, and he is a light type with no effect. Then we have Leaf Commander. I was debating what the name of this card would be, but in the end, I decided to go with Leaf Commander, and it was suggested, and it's a stage 1 common card, and this card gains 100 power for every leaf type or grass type card on your field. <coughs> Excuse me again, sorry about that. So basically it works together with like the grass types unifying and working together as a team to strength and build to build up their strength and defeat their opponents. He has 200 power and 200 defense. So when I was drawing him, I was originally drawing a dragon looking card, but then in the end I decided to make him a lizard and instead of making a cool horn going back, I made it curled at the end and I think they look pretty good. Then we have Strength in Numbers. I drew this card during the speed art. It makes all creatures on your field gain 100 power and defense, which is a really another awesome card. And so yeah, so we basically got our first Ultra Rare, and the next one could be a Rare or Ultra Rare, and we got the Ultra Rare Cyber Enhanced Clock Bomb Dino. So this is the card that is on the front of the booster pack, and this is the best card for set 5 that I made so far. And I think I said set four, early, set 4 earlier, but I meant set 5. Just a force of habit to say set 4 because in the last few videos, I've been working on set 4 for like about a year now. So, yeah. He is a stage 3 ultra rare with 400 power and 200 defense. Relatively weak for a stage 3 and he's, oh, he's a water type. But basically his effect is really, really strong because when he's destroyed by battle, you can deal 3 damage directly to your opponent. So basically, he's like a, he has a bomb, cyber enhanced bomb, so it's like attached to his tail, and it powers him up and makes it so whenever he gets destroyed, he'll deal direct damage to your opponent. And yeah, so it's another card added to the cyber enhanced archetype, and I think he's the only set th I mean stage 3 card in the cyber enhanced, but I'm probably wrong, but we'll see. And I think he might be one of the strongest cyber enhanced cards also, besides cyber enhanced dragon. So he's a really good addition to the archetype. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this booster box opening. I mean, not booster box, this booster pack opening. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye guys.